Well, 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 I've said this. I said that Tamar was going back to her old ways, not to mention getting her back broken finally, especially after years of sexual frustration from Vince. So now she has this Nigerian dude who are known for hanging low, if you know what I mean, okay? Among other things, so yes. Here we go again. I mean, this is true. Oh, and there's more. Oh, I'm not done yet. Oh, and there's more. Oh, I'm not done yet. I mean, this is true. Show. Oh, yes. Now, I'm sure most of you have already saw Tamer's sexy Instagram post looking like a blonde white girl. Shout out to all the real blondes out there. How y'all doing? Okay. Tamar has became part of Candy's Welcome to the Dungeon. She took to Instagram to show off her super sexy and extremely provocative tour outfit. I mean, this girl flaunted a fox navel cap, a white glittery bra, high-waisted panties, decorated with crystals, and so on with her sexy ensemble. Anyway, now, don't get me wrong, she looked amazing, but we need to dig deeper. In her description, she said, and I quote, Don't know body. No, you have that body underneath all of those church clothes. I don't care. I'm still saved. I'm an actress and playing a role. Mm -hmm. Anyway, this description was only a cover of an explanation to her guilt of posting these I want to be a white girl pic and I hate my color pics and the fact that she's slowly converting over to the elite. No more straddling the fence. Full conversion. Heck, all of them are. Trina with Gabe, Tony with her niece or herself, the jury is still out on which one, Tamar with Vince in a minute, although her voice is still a bargain chip, I must say, so she may not even need Vince, but she may have to sex it up a bit more, hence this post. Now, Tracy and Tawanda are next, but let's get back to the point. Now, this is nothing but candy trademarking Phaedra's Parks and Famous Sex Dungeon rumor, which caused her to be booted from the show. You know, doing a Kim Kardashian pretty much, you know, taking a negative situation and making money from it, hence Kim's sex tape. I'm not hating on her hustle. I mean, do your thing, Candy. But I am going to say something yet again about why Tamar feel that in order to be sexy, she had to put on a blonde wig and make her skin look as light as possible to be sexy. The colorism in this country, heck, the world is ridiculous. Because my people, and I'm mixed, but I still fight for what's right. But why do my people feel that in order to be beautiful, you and your hair have to become lighter? Your natural hair and all of your flaws isn't considered beautiful. Then we have some of the whites and non-blacks pretending to be black. Everyone is just freaking confused. Let's take the big bucks, for example. They've been a well-known and desired feature on a black woman from black slash color men for decades. Although in the old days they were considered weird and put on display so people can make fun of. Heck, it got so bad that having a big butt made you fat. So many women cover them up. But then you get the Kardashians, the Iggy's, the Taylor Swift's and so on getting butt injections, lip injections, and doing anything to look like us. Then my people, the original big booty women, get shadowed. That's unless we become lighter and look more like them. You see where I'm going with this. Once again, our natural features and talent are being shadowed out. Or should I say, shaded out. And they're taking over. Just like in ancient Egyptian history, whereas they cut off the hair, noses, and sometimes heads to cover up the race and nationality of the statues. Heck, the royal family became rich from stealing from the graves of the ancient pharaohs, queens, etc. Not to mention all of the blood that got shed after stealing it from ships and so on. Oh, I'm not done yet. Then to make sure it stayed secure, they keep the royalty within the family and bloodline when the original king was black before they killed him off. Oh yes, just telling the truth, I'm just saying. So, with that being said, we need to speak up just like i'm doing with this video because they're changing the face of everything including hip-hop so share the heck out this video and don't forget to say something i'm out Get an inside look at 
unlisted videos and a sneak peek at my upcoming video script. You can also see the making of one of my videos. Mm -hmm. Even have a personal chat with me and much more. So become a part of the Truth Show family. There is no fee, just donation. You can help me build and recruit more leaders and open more eyes. Oh, don't forget to follow me and or like me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. If you want to listen while working out or driving, listen to me on SoundCloud and Spreaker. All the links are below. Hope to see you all soon. Hey, but there's more. Check out these.